the library has always been a, a place for me to, to escape and a place that I could just disappear into another world. Um, it's, it was just the first place in my memories as far back as I can remember that I, can, I had some place I could go that, um, that I could just relax and be me and uh, not worry about anything, disappear into that other world. That to me fostered my love of reading. Uh, my favorite librarian, uh, her name was, uh, back then she, her name was Robbie Doss. And she was my uh, librarian at Minden Hall Elementary School in Plano. And I still see her. In fact, she came to my book launch when I sold to Penguin Putnam and I released Trial by Fire as Joe Davis. And uh, she was one of the first people I invited and she was thrilled to be there. And I was thrilled to have her there because she's one of the people who, back in my childhood memories, fostered that love of reading. She came to our classroom and read books to us once or twice a week. She came to all the grade levels and she always had a stack of books to tell us about and uh, to read to us. And um, she is one of the people who, if I could name one librarian from way back, it was Robbie Doss. So. Yeah. I still go to the library uh, today. With uh, I, I did growing up. My mother and I went to the library all the time. Uh, and then as I got older, and, you know, I still I continued going to the library. Uh, Plano libraries. I'm from the Dallas area, so you know, we uh, I would uh, go to the library, go there for research too, and and find lots of good research books and things like that as I got older into high school and. And uh, still, to this day, I still have my library card, and I still go. And I go and I pick over the good books and, and uh, sometimes put one on hold that I really want to read. You know, I haven't, uh, in my area, I haven't seen so much in the way of budget cuts yet in our area. But I hate to see any program like libraries lose any money to do what they do and to get the community read to read. Um, I think reading is so important. Uh, I think there are a lot of things we could probably cut first before we cut libraries. I mean, do, does the median in the city really need flowers and trees? You know, we could probably cut that before we cut, you know, books from the library. So I'm very passionate about, you know, let's don't cut books. There are other things that we can cut that beautify the city or that that are really just extraneous things we don't need. We do need libraries and we do need books. And so that to me would be the last resort. I am, I do not believe in censorship at all uh, in libraries. Uh, I don't believe, it, uh, my, mom, my parents, from the time I started reading and I started reading young, my parents never cens censored my fiction material. Um, I was reading adult books in the seventh grade uh, my best friend is the same way. My best friend of almost 40 years, she and I, our parents never censored what we read. She read Gone with the Wind in third grade uh, and understood it. I just don't believe in censorship. Um, I think that um, it's such an intellectual thing. I think that anyone who can read books that are above grade level uh, really has the intelligence to, to understand books. I think, uh, I don't know, it's just to me, don't hold someone back from their choices. Uh, I still live in America, right? So, you know, I really don't believe in, you know, someone governing what I can and cannot look at. Right now, I'm writing the, um, uh, the uh, Alpha Pack series. It's paranormal romance, and it's sort of edgy, and it's a little bit darker than my Joe Davis stuff. And um, it's a series about a team of Navy SEALs who were turned into uh, wolf shifters. And then we have other shifters that come into the series too, so we're not gonna limit ourselves. But they're former Navy SEALs who, uh, uh, who are, their mission is they're top secret black ops and they can be dispatched anywhere in the world at a moment's notice to take care of any paranormal threat that might arise. And they go as a team, they go in there, um, if they need to take a prisoner to find out information, they have a cell block, you know, on their compound where they would take this. Sometimes they might have to destroy them, but they're very heroic, you know, they're very save the world kind of guys. And Navy SEALs and wolf shifters, right? How can you go wrong? So. <laughs>